In the previous episode, we saw Chin Tian trapped on an island with the school goddess Ellen. Chin Tian used a plastic bottle to light a fire. Later, they moved into the forest and discovered a waterfall. Chin Tian built a trash tent for their resting place. Later, Chin Tian found bamboo, where they were attacked by boars. Chin Tian killed one boar and later ate its meat. Meanwhile, Ellen's surprise, if they can actually brush their teeth with the wood ash, Chin Tian explained some science, telling that it's a good substitute for real toothpaste. Later they begin making the pottery bowls and Chin Tian explained that, it will take five hours to harden, this surprises Ellen, and Chin Tian tells her that they must control the heat properly otherwise the pottery will develop cracks. After the first batch of bowls is finished, the success rate is disappointingly low, reminding to think of new techniques, they could try instead. Later that night during Ellen's shift, the success rate gradually improves indicating that, they could make more if they could control the heat. The next day as rain is approaching, Chin Tian cooks the pork fat while Ellen wonders, why he is adding water to it. Chin Tian explains that water helps reduce the risk of the fat getting overburn. They also prepare by crushing shells into powder to make soap. Chin Tian highlights the importance of making soap, since there are no drugs on the island, and if they get sick, it might be life-threatening. Using soap reduces that risk, as they let the soap prepare throughout the day, they prepare for the close rainstorm. Luckily both has finished building the tents, otherwise they wouldn't have anywhere to stay. Chin Tian opens the system and with the pottery and soap he made, he now has over 6,000 points, however he still needs another 500 points to buy the power of any animal. Ellen appears and questions, Chin Tian about what he's thinking but he reflects on the situation and asks her, what took her so long he also asks if the soap works. Ellen calmly mentions that, it does the job and expresses their luck in having the soap. Chin Tian prepares to make the bamboo bow, and try to create a multi-layered structured bow to improve efficiency, he places some stumps in the ground as a makeshift mold, since he has no other options, suddenly the sky begins to thunder and both quickly rushes into the tent together, and goes to sleep during the night. Chin Tian wakes up upon hearing a sound and quickly wakes up Ellen, he tells her that they have to left the tent and urges her to climb up the tree. Ellen wonders what's going on, when suddenly a group of wild boars run through their campsite, Ellen wonders, if a few of the boars are dead, as it appears they are wounded, but it turns out they are just taking a nap. The rain continues to pour and the boars are not leaving, yet Chin Tian uses his shoe to distract the boars, and they run away. Chin Tian tells Ellen to get down and the girl slips down from the tree, she falls on Chin Tian. Look at Chin Tian blushing, morning comes and Chin Tian is surprised to get 3,000 points for surviving the rainy night, the two start fixing their camp, Ellen is glad that the rabbits are still caged, Chin Tian hopes the wood sticks they have will dry sooner, later Chin Tian asks Ellen to remove her underwear, he plans to wash clothes and bath at the same time, but Ellen refuses Chin Tian notices the stream's water is higher than before, luckily the first trap is still usable, as the clothes must first dry. Chin Tian wears leaves in the meantime, that night Ellen worries that the boars will return, and Chin Tian offers to do night watch, first seeing Ellen feel unsafe. Chin Tian wants to make more weapons to fight the boars, he creates the bow and uses a boar's muscle as a string, Chin Tian proceeds to make arrows, he burns the tips of wood sticks and sharpens them, he can also use sharp stones as arrowheads, he gets points as he finishes as the bow and arrows, Chin Tian now has enough points for a new skill between speed and strength, he chooses the former and he now feels stronger than before, the next day Chin Tian suggests working on the ceramics, after the boars destroyed them, Chin Tian and Ellen remake the ceramics and their skills have improved, Chin Tian practices using the bow but his aiming skills stink, he keeps training until his skills improve, following that Chin Tian goes deep into the woods, he notices some tadpoles and he finds the ecosystem interesting, he later picks up some bamboo shoots, he hears bird sounds and discovers wild chickens, he shoots an arrow but he misses, he notices that the chickens are not afraid of him and don't move, he swears not to miss a shot but he didn't hit them even once, he tries one more time, and finally hits one, he hits two more but he has already used all of his arrows, the other chickens ran away after seeing that, that night the two had chicken soup, Ellen is overjoyed with the new menu, Chin Tian also finds it tasty with bamboo shoots, however he claims that it will be better with salt, Ellen gets excited and suddenly remembers that they are in the middle of nowhere, then tells him that they will go to the beach, the next day to make some, they went to the beach and prepared, to boil seawater, 
while the water is boiling the two make a sundial so they can keep track of their time, they successfully created one and Chin Tian asked Ellen to watch the shadow, while he checked the sea water seeing the salt still wet, Chin Tian dries it out under the blazing sun they made enough for half a month, but it is full of impurities, Chin Tian prepares another pot of seawater to boil and Ellen calls for his attention, Chin Tian asks for another bamboo, he knows that crude salt is not meant for consumption, he plans to saturate and purify the salt using his survival knowledge, Chin Tian made a filtration device however it took a long time, Ellen feels overjoyed with the dinner again, Chin Tian comments on how Chinese cuisine should have seasonings, he laughs at Ellen for overreacting, they also realized that it had been 20 days, since they came to the island, Ellen wonders, what kind of boat Chin Tian is planning to make, he needs a fishing boat that will help sustain them during the trip, Ellen suggests making a better tent first, and Chin Tian claims it is better to find another place to camp, for days later, Chin Tian finds a field with a nearby cave, he stays alert thinking that something is living inside, he fires an arrow but nothing reacts, he goes inside and discovers animal remains, soon after Chin Tian senses an attack and dodges it using his cheetah speed, a panda attacked him and Chin Tian wondered, why it looked a bit strange, he tries to distract it with a bamboo branch, but the panda just crushes it, Chin Tian wonders what is happening, and why it looks different compared to a normal panda, Chin Tian runs away and climbs a tree, as a Chinese he hesitates to attack it, but he needs to take over the cave, the fired arrow just bounces off its fur, and the panda discovers Chin Tian, he quickly keeps his distance, and uses a rock arrow this time, it works but the panda is still fine, despite the bleeding it confronts a surprise Chin Tian, Chin Tian dodges its attack and runs away again, that night Ellen suggests ignoring the panda and the cave, and looking for another area to move, Chin Tian plans to use his arrow belt's tie to make an arrowhead, they need a furnace to melt the iron, so they start to plan to make one, they created a wind fan, and the two started blowing air into the furnace to melt the iron, they manage to melt the iron, and Ellen falls out of fatigue, Chin Tian pours the melted iron into Ellen's molds, and he immediately cools them down, that night Chin Tian sharpens the arrowheads and hopes that they work, he puts it on the arrow, and he is now confident in beating the panda, he tries to buy the animal encyclopedia, but the system offers a better option for a bargain, he buys books about animals and how to tame them, the books also give tips on how to fight different animals, however Chin Tian finds them ridiculous, Ellen wakes up to see Chin Tian making breakfast, Ellen insists on seeing the panda, but Chin Tian refuses, Chin Tian can see that Ellen is getting used to living on the island, later Chin Tian goes back to the cave and fires arrows inside, he notices that the panda is not there, he climbs a tree to wait for it, and it appears after some time, the system shows that it is an ancient panda, it further explains that panda started as carnivores, which humans domesticated until they turned into bamboo loving pandas, in two months Chin Tian confinement, he plans to hurt it to the point that it can't find food by itself, Chin Tian injures it, retrieves the arrow and runs away, he kept repeating the process for many days, on the fourth day Chin Tian can't find the panda, it ambushed him, and Chin Tian noticed that the panda was learning, it breaks an arrow and Chin Tian runs away on the way back to the camp, Chin Tian discovers poison dart frogs, he now had a solution to his problem, he captures one and plans to use its toxin for his arrows, he goes back to the camp and Ellen rushes to hug him, Chin Tian apologizes for making her worry, but Ellen denies being worried, Ellen notices the poison frog and Chin Tian plans to use it against the panda, 